Although I am involved with CADAC, the Center of ADHD Awareness Canada, the views and opinions expressed in this episode are those of the participants and do not reflect those of CADAC. And now, cue the music. This is the Impulsive Thinker Podcast, a show for high-achieving ADHD entrepreneurs. Together, we will inform and educate you about how to improve your self-awareness while developing systems, routines, and habits for conquering the entrepreneurial world. Here is your host, Andre Brisson. Hey there, it's Andre here with another short for the Impulsive Thinker podcast, the podcast for the high-achieving ADHD entrepreneur. This episode is brought to you by CADAC, the Center of ADHD Awareness Canada. You can get more information and you can donate at www.caddac.ca. A lot of interesting conversations having people on the podcast, off podcast, and with my new uh, attempt and dedication to working on my entrepreneurial network and giving myself the validity or the validation that I'm worth other people's time and make friendships. We had a conversation about the forgive and forget thing. Um, that's brought up all over the place. I remember my wife talking to that about my kids. You know, I'm starting to see with my kids, the forgetting part's very hard and the forgiving part's very hard, especially when I think they're like me with a one print. If it's not right, not fair, man, it's very hard to let go. You know, we were taught as kids to forgive and to forget, be it a religious mantra or whatever you want to call it, spiritual or just just to be an all-around good person. You know, it's good to you can be frustrated. You can be angry. You have the right to those. But at one point or another, to move on, for everyone to move on, forgiving and forgetting is required and needed. I think we do that. It's just depending on the situation or the hurtfulness, how long it takes to forgive. And then the forgetting comes afterwards. Um, but uh, you know, let's be honest, not everyone forgets all the time. It's always there in the back. But as long as if we don't forget it, but doesn't bring back anything that can intrude with the relationship, I know personally, that's fine. But when if the, if the part of you is not forgetting and it still causes an issue with the relationship, then I think there's we got a bit of a problem. But that's another day. Who here is listening is hard on themselves and they won't forget the mistakes that they made last week, today, last year, 10 years ago, even in your childhood. Um, I don't need to see anyone. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of heads nodding and arms going up. And as an ADHD person, our brain really likes, well, I think all brains like the negative. They always go to the negative first, seems to be less energy. And then with our ADHD brain, just recycles, recycles, and then we, we get into this negative rumination that just builds up on it, on itself. And then when you're undiagnosed or you let that trait of the ADHD brain go, then that negative rumination just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's almost now becomes a core belief. And how do you get out of that? Um, there's a lot of checks, positive focus, gratitude, blah, blah, blah. There's so many different ways. Find what works for you. But doesn't matter what you do. The only way we can reduce the amount of negative rumination or for us to forget and not dwell on past mistakes, no matter how long ago it was, is we have to forgive ourselves and for us to forget as well. So we have to forgive and forget ourselves. Let me give you a little story here. Um, after I was diagnosed, it, it was a life tempest, just really bad. Symptoms took over, started to believe I was a bad person. I need a lot of severe help. And I was sitting, what I started doing, I was going through, I think it was CBT, the Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. It was group once a week. And what I started doing is I got in the habit, an hour before the session started, I went and sat in the cafeteria and I just wrote, just free wrote and free wrote. And I think I was start, starting to talk about going camping and then how some weird stuff was happening here in the world or in the stars. And then also I came down to the point where I was starting to cry, sitting there all by myself, crying to myself. And what was happening was it was starting to just write. And at the beginning of the writing was all about rehashing all the stupid stuff I did, all the mistakes I made. And you know what? It had a lot to do with my undiagnosed ADHD and also had to do with the fact that there's other people didn't understand my ADHD and didn't respect or respect me to just let me do what I do best and then start judging me. Then I noticed that I was hard on myself. Man, I, like I tell people, you know, you know, a lot of people say that guy just blasted you, blah, blah, blah. And, 
you know, how can you take that? I said, well, what they told me is nothing compared to what I tell myself in my head. Now, how many of you resonate with that statement? There's no one out there that can make me feel any less of a person than myself. Think about that. I know for a lot of us, it's true. And if you say it's not true for you, I would challenge you to seriously think about this because, man, we are our own worst enemy. And the more mistakes we made that we should have figured out because that's how everyone else judged it on, the neurotypical way, it eats at you. It becomes a core belief that you suck and you don't do things well. And how can I do it? Oh, man, I did it again. Stupid me, stupid me. Even if you know you got the ADHD diagnosis, it makes sense. It explains it. But we still have that negative story room like that's been branded in our brains and we got to get out of it so i started in my free writing i was going through all that and going through all that and then i realized man the past was not my fault the past is because of my undiagnosed adhd and i remember staring at the lines and i start tearing up and i'm like what the heck is going on here and then my hand just started writing. I wasn't thinking about it. And the next line I wrote was, I forgive you, Andre, for all those past mistakes. It is not your fault. Give yourself a break. When I saw that, I read it, and then I started bawling. But for me to forgive myself, my whole life perspective after that completely changed. Because the one person that was hardest on me was now gone. And that was me. All right, let me rephrase it. Not completely gone, but the volume and the intensity was dramatically decreased. I make mistakes. That's fine. I'm no longer holding it as a personal failure. Yes, my ADHD took over. But you know what? Sometimes because of my ADHD and you not respecting my ADHD brain and you just keep doing what's accepted and I'm supposed to change, no, that's not cool either. So I'm a lot more forgiving. And you know what? I'm really close to forgetting my the 44 years undiagnosed about everything that I thought I was screwed up, uh, screwed up and not belong. I forgave me. And for us to move forward and not hold us back about the ADHD diagnosis or the past is we got to forgive ourselves and to truly, honestly do it. To me, that was a key life-changing moment at that time. Then to realize that I was holding me back with my core belief that I sucked and it was okay. The past was not completely under my control. It was my ADHD brain that I did not understand and didn't know how to use effectively. Now, I still got to be responsible for everything that happened in the past, but I no longer hold it against me. All I do now is now that I know it and what happened, all I got to do is take responsibility for what I can do now and in the future. So I make amend- I made amends with quite a few people. I start to look at things differently. I stopped apologizing for being me. I stopped apologizing for my quirky ways of doing things. This is what needs to be done so I can do my stuff. Just because it's odd and different than you, it doesn't matter. No longer trying to blend in and make it work for everyone else. And that's all because I forgave myself. I'm in the process of forgetting it. But remember... It starts with us no matter what we do. And the only way we can forgive and forget with other people or to move forward and really enjoy life is we got to forgive ourselves and then work on forgetting about those past mistakes. That RADHD brain's really good at spinning back in at random times and not be clear. But anyways, forgive and forget you. I don't know you. I know some of you listening, but I don't know most of you. But you know what? I forgive you. And I'm going to forget all your past mistakes because now that you know more today makes tomorrow a better day than it was yesterday. So thank you for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to the Impulsive Thinker podcast. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for the show, please visit theimpulsivethinker.com. The Impulsive Thinker podcast is produced by Tactical Breakthroughs and hosted by Andre Brisson. Remember, ADHD is only a part of you, not all of you.